Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to my advanced spruce treehouse tutorial. This is a spruce treehouse forest tutorial. You can just make this anywhere really. You just need two spruce tree saplings and a bunch of spruce wood. I guess you don't even have to make this in a spruce wood forest, but it has everything you need. A really nice furnace area, some chest storage, uh, an enchanting table just there for looks, but you can I guess enchant one to three levels. And then over here we have some more chest storage, a two person bedroom, uh, some of that, a crafting table, an anvil, some nice pots with some nice plants, and it looks super super nice and it's really really easy to build so yeah let's get started all right so for your advanced spruce tree house you're gonna need the materials found on my hotbar below and you're also gonna need two spruce <laughs> spruce two spruce trees that are grown exactly this uh, way so they're gonna have to be one two three four block space in between them and they need to be at the same height to where the tops of them look like this and once that is uh, happening on your build you just want to shave off the top of this area here and you also are gonna need a couple of the spruce leaves so just go ahead and make a square out of them and uh, I, I can give you the dimensions, but if the spruce trees grow exactly like that, that's how it's going to be. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then long, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten long. So it's ten by five. Uh, I'm going to move, uh, render distance is eight. Let's move it down to four just to give the maximum FPS 60 to you guys. So if one of them is shorter, you want to do that one for the ladder. But of course, if they're both the same length, then just leave it how it is. And you're going to want to break this block and you just want to, you just want to make an entrance into your house. And it's pretty simple. Then go ahead and bring those up four higher than they are. So one, two, three, four. And then on the corner of these, bring these up two high. Two high. And two high. And then we're going to place a spruce wood slab above it like that. Like that. <clears throat> and then on these sides right here, we're going to do a fence. And a fence. Then we're going to connect the slabs on top. Like this. And then on top of here, we're going to do the same sort of thing. So we're just going to bring those out too. And place a slab on top. So this is going to give a really cool like roof shape to it. It's pretty interesting actually. And then in the middle, you want to add a well, no, not, not well. I guess not the never mind. Uh, you want to just fill in in the middle with these spruce wood slabs and just make a roof shape. Which I well, not a roof shape. It's actually the roof. And I'm sorry about the lack of uploads, guys. I've just been extremely busy with uh, real life in the gym and uh, recently started a new relationship, which is going really great. And I don't know, just a lot of stuff in life. Life, you know, is is busy in high school. And there's a lot of stuff that I have to do outside of YouTube. Anyways, so basically you just connect it like this and uh, you just bring the stairs up. So you see I did that there. You just put stairs on this level right here. Connect those over. And then connect those over again. And then you just do the same sort of thing but right there. And I know it looks a little bit weird from this angle, I guess. But uh, when you look at it from the side, it actually gives it kind of a cool roof shape. And then under... Under, <laughs> under it, you want to, you can tell I haven't made a tutorial in like a month because I'm saying under instead of under. Under it, you place the stairs like that and it's going to give another really cool feel to it. So you can either do a uh, spruce wood leaf floor, but I get, or spruce wood leaf, yeah, floor. Or you can go ahead and just replace it with all the spruce wood planks, but it's going to look a little bit odd if you do it that way. So out here is going to be a deck area. So you want to find uh, these logs, you want to bring them out two more. And then straight down from these, so we're just going to find where it is straight down. We're going to fall, then we're going to build them up. This is going to be a deck area. Uh, this isn't, I guess, required, but this is something that's going to make your build pop out a little bit more. And I guess this isn't actually part of the tree, but a treehouse doesn't mean it has to be only the tree itself, you know. You can add your own little own little things onto it and make it look quite nice. And I haven't done a treehouse in a while, and I wanted to do one for you guys because I love building treehouses. They're one of my favorite builds to do. Uh, for this, I'm going to do the spruce wood planks or not, spruce wood plank slabs as the floor because I think that's going to add a little bit of uh, dimension to our build. And right here, going to bring these up too. I'm going to break that stair. We're going to bring them up like that. And then we're going to place the fence in there. And we're going to place the fence in there. So you're probably wondering like, hey, Neo, this is stupid. Where are you going to pull all your stuff? So, uh, like I said, that deck is optional because you want to gum. Uh, you want to gum. Uh, you see right here, bring these down all the way to the ground like this. Bring them all the way down, bring them all the way down, and then you want to count down, go ahead and remove these here, my bad, I'm sorry I forgot about that, I said you needed to keep them, but I actually forgot, alright, so count three down, so you want to have a three high floor, this is going to be a second floor in your build, so just go ahead and count three down, uh, I forgot that was the deck, so we're going to fix that in a second here, so you want to just connect those, and then connect that right there, and then connect that right there, so the same thing I did over here, so connect it. You can't connect it right there, I guess, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. It's not a huge deal. But don't bring don't bring that log out right there. That was a stupid idea. And then go ahead and just uh, place the logs in here. And this is where, for sure, you want to use the spruce wood slabs because this is, like, something you added onto the build. And I know it looks a little bit like it isn't, um, or it just looks a little bit not, what's the word, 
not symmetrical because that isn't there, but I promise it's going to be okay. So right here, we want to take our spruce wood leaves and just want to place them right here. And if your graphics are set to fancy, it'll look a little bit better, but uh, mine aren't set to fancy because when I record, I like to give you guys the maximum FPS I can. And then you just do a spruce wood layer like that up there. And that gives a nice little area where nothing can get in. I guess spiders can get in, so what you want, you could just like do something like that. Whatever. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, I don't really see how a spider, they'd have to climb up over here, go over, and then in. And spiders don't have that smart of an AI, so that's probably not going to happen. Then you can go ahead and just do fence over here. And I guess you can connect this over here so it doesn't look too odd. And then just bring this up and connect it with fence. And everything will look nice and snazzy. And then just put a slab up there. And yeah, that looks super cool. So we're going to go over here and we are here and we're up and then you can come up. Well, I guess right here you can put a slab. I'm going to go ahead and grab the interior materials. We put a slab there and uh, you just come up here and yeah, hold on guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that guys. Had to take a quick call there. I'm going to grab the interior materials and come right back. And you may think that, hey, this right here is open and you're right because, uh, you know, as you know, normal people do, they forget things and I completely forgot that that was open. So something we're going to do is we're going to take some slabs. And we are going to extend this out right here. Oh, we're going to extend this out right here. Then we are going to take some fence and we are just going to connect it. And instead of actually doing a slab there, I completely lied to you guys. I am a huge liar. We're actually going to do an under, uh, not under, upside down thing. So this tree house is coming along very, very nicely. Let's go ahead and bring this support down too. Just so it doesn't look a little bit uh, asymmetrical or whatever, whatever the word is. So you can just fly around, make sure everything looks nice and cool. So we're going to do the same thing on this support. Uh, now, symmetry isn't totally important, and if you encounter another tree in your spruce forest, you can basically just do whatever. I like to kind of go through them and make it look like it's a part of that area, and I think this looks super, super cool. But anyways, I'm going to grab all the interior materials we need and come right back. All right, all right. so these are the materials you're going to need for your uh, interior, but before I do that, I sort of forgot to extend this roof out, so my bad. You just want to extend it out two more, and then that means that this will be covered in case it rains. And uh, you can see over here that you can do the same sort of thing. So go up one. Oh, actually, you have to start off on this one. One, and then you can just extend it one out. And it's not, like, completely covered, but you can't really even stand on the other block. Anyways, yep, that's it. All right, so for your interior materials, you can just see what I have in my hotbar below. And uh, we're going to need to replace this with the stair, uh, spruce wood stair. And then in this corner, we're going to do a pot, and we are going to put a blue orchid. Oh, uh, what did I do? I'm, we're going to put a blue orchid in this one. Then we're going to do the same thing over here. And we're going to put a pot. And we're going to do a cactus because cactuses are pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and put a cactus there. Then we can take our crafting table and our anvil, place those there. And this can be a two-man uh, sort of, I guess, build because there's going to be two beds in it. Then you can have each personal ender chest. And then you can, I mean, you, you could technically put chests up here. And I think that'd be kind of cool. So have like a chest up there and do something like, actually trap nope there we go this is a this is an example of somewhere where you could do something really cool so you put a trap door on that block a trap door on that block and then you just put the chest right there and you can still open it because there's leaves above it Ooh, this looks super super nice so you're obviously 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 gonna need some lighting so let's go ahead and just remove the bed here you can just put a torch on top of here uh you can do some lighting right there you're gonna do two in the middle one right there and that should give you sufficient lighting in here and if not you can place a torch right there a torch right there a torch right there right there really you can put the torches anywhere you want i'll just leave them right there for now and you can put one on the ground if it's technically it, technically if it's still too dark whatever uh, that's the underground area not underground that's the second floor area you know what let's just do some storage right there you know why not because uh we're just gonna do this as sort of a utilitarian build i'll just do one chest there actually let me see how that looks from the outside so let's go ahead and come down here and uh how, do, how from the outside does that look uh, that looks really weird oh well, yeah let's just do one chest right there for now and let's come up to this second floor area and finish it off. So we can do some furnaces right here. And we can fill this in and then fill this in. And then on the, on the back of this thing, if you want to come back here, you can... Uh, what, what does it connect? We can do another anvil and another anvil. And then we can take an ender chest and place that right there. Well, actually, we'll just do some more normal storage. That's not a full block above, so we can do storage like that. Lighting in here, pretty simple. Just do that. Place torches all around here. All around here. And then uh, we can take some more stairs. Take some stairs. And we can put those right here and right here and right here and right here. Then we can take a pot and we can just do whatever sort of flowers we please. Does not matter. We can do, like, the coolest flowers in the world. And we're going to go ahead and remove that. And put the chest, not put the chest, put the torch back up there. We're going to take, let's do another blue orchid. Uh, one of these, 
Let's do a white, uh, is there a blue it thing? And then we'll do like, mm, little orange tulips. So we'll do this and the blue orchid and then this and that. Then we can take a painting and put that behind the build. Let's go ahead and grab a painting. Oh no, what just happened? Uh, we're gonna, oh my gosh, sound like someone just broke something in the house. Uh, and we need to get a one by two, so I hope that it doesn't take too long. Oh, no, we can't have two of the same painting. We might have to. Yeah, we'll have two of the same painting on each wall. That won't look as weird, but still looks a little bit odd, but it's okay. It's not a huge deal. Come on, come on, please. I'm saying please, so I don't know why it isn't working. Usually when you say please, uh, stuff work. Oh, come on. All right, I'm gonna come back when these two paintings are here. Voila! That actually looks really, really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And then out here, you can put whatever, really. I don't really think that we need to add anything, but if you just wanted, like, a one-level enchanting table, you could put that out here. And then if you wanted maybe a... I don't know. You could do another block that's sort of the same shape just to give it some more... Uh, well, actually, that connects. That's weird. Let's not do that at all. Uh, you could, I guess, put a bookshelf, like, Actually, never mind. That would just, that's fine like that. But anyways, I hope you guys like the tutorial. Please leave a like if you like this tutorial. If not, don't leave a like, leave a dislike, and tell me why in the comment section you, that you do not like this uh, tutorial. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this advanced spruce treehouse tutorial. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to see more tutorials and many, 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 many more, then click that subscribe button. You'll get notified when I upload and you'll be the first to see all of the Neo Cubist tutorials. Anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting on my newest videos and whatnot. And uh, if, you have, if you haven't checked out the advanced mountain house, that one's super cool. Uh, links to my shader pack, texture pack, music, Twitter, everything's down there. So if you want to send me the pictures of this build you do on the Xbox podcast, Edition, PS3, PS4, whatever it is, PS Vita, whatever you can play Minecraft on nowadays, send me those pictures. I'd love to see how they look on different consoles and stuff. So yeah, just send them in on Twitter. I'll retweet and everything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Let's try to get 1,000 likes on this. That would be truly amazing. And if you're new to my channel, definitely click that subscribe button. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. All right, bye.